we do have two of wands and the tower so we had a crossroads here because of a tower moment you know the universe stepped in and said we need to free gemini from something that is unbearable and the universe did right delivered two of wands ace of wands i simply love this it's new beginning time um, it's all about a passion that you have in your heart. It's all about somebody offering you this new beginning. Um, well, I kind of say to myself, if you take it, it's you offered it to yourself, right? And the sun, I love this. Leo energy. And by the way, I don't read in reverse. Um, I don't have read reversals with this deck. We do have the sun, Leo energy, and the two of wands. We are choosing happiness. We are taking the path of happiness, actually. It's in your energy, right? Um, maybe you don't see it. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Please take care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of um, autonomy, independence, financial security, investing in something, focusing on something that makes you abundant, and um, standing on your uh, two feet. Two of Wands, three of Wands, right? Waiting, expecting, living with expectation, choosing a path that we expect brings, delivers um, results, right? For a Gemini, results are important. So here comes the universe saying, yeah, 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 you can live with expectations. So Gemini, what's going on? We are working too much. We do have the two of wands. Uh, the two of wands, why do I say two? Because we saw it through shuffling. We have ten of wands. We do have the queen of wands. We do have the chariot and we have the death. Scorpio energy, nine of swords. Um, something is over. Absolutely. Something is over, over, over in your energy, Gemini. We are breaking free. We are moving on. Um, the chariot is like, let me breathe here because I feel ten of wands, right? I cannot breathe. You are standing on my neck, you know? You are standing on my chest. It's like, please. Um, of course, can be you doing all the work. If you are dealing with a fire sign here, somebody, I'm seeing somebody really pedaling and, and doing like, oh, no, 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 no. It's, oh, it's only me, only me, right? Driving the boat. Um, but thank God for transformation. Um, and I'm a big um, believer actually in um, cycles of life and starting new cycles with a renewed wisdom of some sort, with, uh, you know, bits and pieces of, of um, now I know better, so I'm going to do better, right? For some of you, the Queen of Wands is absolutely your energy. And I say that because I mean Chariot and the Queen of Wands. This is like, you know what? I am going to use my social network. I'm going, right? That's the Queen of Wands. I'm going to use my skills, my people skills. And I will find my way out of trouble and out of this ending, right? So for some of you, the whole shuffling actually was a piece of advice. Please make a choice. Please choose a path. Nine of Pentacles, the energy of independence, being single, it's not that bad, actually. But let's see. Can be a Scorpio in your life. Can be a Cancer. You might have placements of, um, of Scorpio, of um, Cancer, or Fire Sign. So, But let's see. Gemini, we do have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have current energies. And let's have the possible outcome. And the possible outcome, perfect. Bottom of the deck, I love this High Priestess, right? between the dark and the light not 100 percent in the dark not 100 percent in the light a uh, broad light i would say but definitely on a journey on a spiritual path on a spiritual journey seeing actually struggles of life as um um groundbreaking events right opening up doors and opening up um, um opportunities and new cycles I love the High Priestess. It's all about also in action as the best course of action, but the interior world is activated, right? It's not uh, that we are doing nothing in a stagnant. It's, it's uh, the beauty of the mind and the manifestation and the spiritual, um, um, I would say, approach to whatever ending is going on because we do have Ten of Wands is an ending, um, Death is an ending, Chariot is an ending that I choose, right? So I rush to my destiny and I know where I go. 
or at least we know we don't want to stay there, right? Which is still a purpose in, in itself. Um, <laughs> I know, and, I, and probably it's difficult, but every time I see the death with the chariot, it means, um, Gemini, that you did the work and you are able to move on, and that is a strength that comes with the chariot. And it's the strength of the mind and the perspective and distance you want to put, maybe to gain perspective, maybe you already have. Um, and the death is transformation in itself, so it's, um, it enlightens and enriches the, um, the experience, right? So Gemini, past energies, we do have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Uh, of course, you had to use your mind for this offering and this love. Um, but I, uh, it kind of tells me, Gemini, that you had this uh, beautiful combined approach of nurturing and loving, um, of stability. Um, Page of Pentacles also being open to learn, being open to, um, um, you know, to experience this. But you had your eyes wide open. That is the Ace of Swords in the past, in the recent past. I'm sensing more that this is your love, but of course, for some of you, might be I finally saw the situation for what this is, and that's why I um, actually have the camera on the cards so that you can relate and feel and eventually take something else from it. But what I'm sensing here, and I say that because we have passion over here, we have a sense of freedom, we have a sense of hard work, right? You put a lot of work and dedication, and you try to learn and, and see how you can uh, develop this while being eyes wide open ace of swords is just knowing having this vision probably for some of you you are so convinced that they were the one that it shows up in the energy of swords right you were the one they were the one and it was meant to be an, an, an energy of this absolute and having a vision right seeing the future that's the ace of swords the clarity for the future for the you know the whole um cycle in it um it's the energy of being smart. So maybe some of you, you um, you are somebody who likes to learn. That is a lot of learning right here in these two energies, right? Um, tons of uh, wanting to learn, wanting to expand your mind and, and finding out stuff. And, um, or they were, right? It's a lot of brilliance and learning and education in these two cards. Now, this person of yours uh, might have been a fire sign. We do have Sagittarius energy, but of course can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and the Two of Cups. If you are wondering if there was love in their heart, of course that was. I would say honest one. I would say awakened one. Two of Cups is body, mind and soul, right? Is um, is that type of connection where we, we are so um, um, connected in so many ways, right? And sending vibrations um, at the same frequency. And then we have the passion because of course, Knight of um, Wands, he's a little bit playful. He's a little bit sexy, of course, right? Having fun a little bit and life is easy at times. Um, but combined with love, I am so not concerned that they were lying to you, doesn't look like. Um, but definitely at some point, um, Gemini might have been a difference in vibration. Not in vibrations, but in um, how we see relationship. We absolutely have here your mind being extremely objective about. And probably hardworking pentacles is being focused on the practicality of life and who's going to pay for gas for the, car, for the car and the house kind of energy. While this person might have been extremely passionate and extremely in love. And it's like, we don't care as long as we love each other, you know. And then somebody was doing all the work here. So, um, but I'm pretty sure love was good. I'm just saying it's here. It's not me saying. And speaking of love was pretty, sh pretty good. We do have the Knight of Cups. This is my I love you. I want you. I want to make love to you card. And we do have the um, Page of Pentacles again. Uh, you know how it feels? It feels Gemini like this love was a learning experience with a very narrow a learning curve you know we have twice the page of pentacles to check in an energy of acquiring knowledge and information being grounded and um, having um, you know uh, being on a journey because it's the beginning right it's the first stages of um, and um, and love we were learning probably to love this person and I go again with my energy of yes there was a two of cups by being of love but we have one very practical, clear-minded energy and looks like on your side, 
And then we have the Knight of Cups. And Knight of Cups is let's make love, baby. Doesn't care. Do, do we have money? Doesn't care, you know? Um, you know, can we survive till tomorrow? It still doesn't care if I hold you, right? That's a Knight of Cups kind of energy. And then somebody showed up and said, you know what? Move your butt and we have stuff to do. That's a page of pentacles. You know, let's be practical. Let's do stuff. Um, and it's all about, um, again, money. I'm not going to lie, right? And um, taking ex extra responsibility for. So anyways, just saying. And speaking of energies right now, we do have the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. I am so happy to see this. We had Ace of Swords in the past. We have Ace of Wands right now. And for some of you, it's a completely beautiful cycle where we focus on nothing less than Ten of Cups. This is, I want the blissful life. I don't want to compromise. That is no way I am going to have um, less than, right? The Knight, the, sorry, the Nine of Cups. No, I don't want wish fulfillment. I want fulfillment now, you know, kind of. And the Ace of Wands, beautiful energy of passion. I feel that your heart is full of um, joy right now. It's a beautiful energy of knowing where you're going. It started in the past, which is so amazing. And at times you might want too much. I'm just putting that out there. That is somebody really wanting a lot of things. Um, and um, at the after this ending, it's like the sky is the limit and we want the moon and the stars and we want to put them in the same bag, right? And the sun. Um, but it's beautiful. And again, it's a 10. So for some of you, it's a beautiful um, ending of a cycle. Maybe we jump too fast to something. I'm just putting that out there. Um, maybe we are jumping. But the chariot is a jumping energy, right? It's a, I don't want to say impulsive because it's, I want to break free. I saw everything that is nothing in it for me. I, I want out. That's a chariot energy. But then we have 10 of uh, ones, which is a very um, heavy burden energy. And we jump to the 10 of cups. So I'm just saying, you know. For some of you really however you want to see this new beginning there are stages and steps and i'm sure you know that but in this energy it feels like boom we go from one to another from one extreme to another and life has steps uh or building has steps for that matter and gemini this person of yours they do um show up here with the nine of wands and the five of cups absolutely i don't know if they've um, messed up but they show up a little bit guarded, a little bit uh, in self-protection mode, hurt by whatever happened, um, and also regretful and missing you. Five of Cups is, I miss you like crazy. Um, it's looking at the past, uh, not seeing opportunities and really being focused, but from a perspective of understanding and healing, from a perspective of overwhelming emotions that they need to protect themselves from. Um, this combination also of energies for somebody you might be dealing with um, a person Gemini right now and they are in this mode I I'm going to protect myself from my own feelings right blocking all kinds of feelings that they might have that is a perspective here of I have given everything right um, passion and love um, for some of you because we have so many endings cards um, as the overall energy. Probably th this is your energy and their energy. One is going through freedom and transformation. The other one might be burdened by uh, the ending. Just saying. Again, now that we um, unveil right the, the energies, we kind of like make sense, right? Um, that is, and it looks more, like more on your side. Um, Gemini, this energy of thank God is over, of seeing opportunities and um, in it and being passionate about this new beginning while this person is, I don't want to feel anything, you know, leave me alone. I want to I wanna uh, leave my emotions here or uh, I want to stay here uh, in self-protection mode, um, in a, a baby um, position, right? Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the King of Wands. Again, that fire sign. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Absolutely a soulmate connection here, Gemini. Absolutely. That is no doubt. And there is a sense of cons consistency on your side. And there is a sense of 
of clarity and passion and on their side again. We go from love to blocking to juggling. Uh, not in a bad way. It's just um, handling the situation in a very um, chaotic kind of way. Uh, for some of you, that's another message here. But mutual energy is between the two of you, two of pentacles, right? This is your beautiful mind saying, no matter what, I am going to have this boat floating. You know, that's the two of ones. I'm going to keep everything up and running. I'm going to stay in control. It's another energy. I'll uh, be busy. I'll take double shifts if I have to, right? That's the two of pentacles, extra work, um, extra responsibility, extra everything. And the king of wands is, uh, you know, of course, wands are about career and passion when it's not about love and sensuality and uh, playfulness. So I'm more sensing this energy of both of you being in the no matter what I have to see tomorrow. I have to go through and, you know, get to tomorrow. So today has to be um, a success kind of energy. I absolutely adore the uh, pentacles between the two of you. Again, going back to practicality, they have no practicality in their energy, not in the recent past, not in the current moment. But mutual energies, it goes like, okay, we need to walk the earth and find solutions to this, you know? And um, I absolutely love the King of Wands. This is the energy of leadership, right? I'm going to take control of what I feel and how I manage the current situation. I am going to work towards my new beginning on your side. Your energy kind of screams, I want something new. I want to feel a fire in my belly again. That's Ace of Wands, right? So, while well, moving forward, we do have the star, Aquarius energy, and we have the hangman, healing through inaction. Love this, right? Because we still have something. That is this energy of urgency and jumping from one extreme to another, even in the energy coming um, uh, coming your way. We have energy of healing and energies of stagnation, but together it's a beautiful energy of, let's focus on, on some healing and we don't have to jump to anything. We need some understanding and perspective. We need some uh, standstill. That's a hangman energy. And um, till the planets align, right? That's a star energy, right? Till we have um, guidance, till we see the situation, till we align with the energies. Um, and it is the energy of healing. So absolutely some of you, that is such a two major arcane actually. Um, to really make you aware, right? Um, to make you aware of, um, have we healed all the past hurts? Are we in a good place to start a new beginning? Is it a real passion that we have on our hands or it's a reaction to something because going from one extreme to another, one of the extremes is the reaction to the other one and that's how we spiral and that's how we go, right? Um, and we miss um, steps in the process and then we wonder why we fall. So. For some of you, it's a beautiful guidance here that we have. Um, of course, if we can do it, and if that's how you feel, and this is um, your judgment of the situation, but boy, they regret the essence of what they've done, everything, right? We have them, five of cups again, five of cups in the current energy, five of cups coming their way in terms of energies, and the two of swords. They think nothing but how they've messed up. Two of Swords is like I'm blindfolded, no vision, I'm not looking at anything but the regret and the guilt that I feel for the situation, how it went and the outcome of it and the choices they've made, right? Two of Pentacles, two, two of Pentacles choices, Two of Swords, thinking about choices and Two of Cups, right? Two, two, two is the number for choices. So. I don't know what they've done. I don't know what choices they've made, but right now it's like, soon I've missed my chance to happiness and passion. Mutual energies between the two of you, page of wands and the three of pentacles. I love this. You still believe this connection is possible. They still believe this is possible, page of wands, and yet we need passion in it, right? Um, again, Gemini, you might have um, come to this relationship from a place of practicality and mind and um, kind of objectiveness and saying, no, no, I'm seeing, you know, eyes wide open. That's my my fave expression, eyes wide open. 
And this person was all about, but I want to be on fire kind of energy. Knight of Wands with the Page of Wands. It's the spark and the chemistry and the playfulness. And I want to be burning, you know. And maybe that was whatever that was. But somebody goes the other way rushing. I'm just saying the overall energy is like, let me, let me get out of here. Because I'm going to caught fire or something. I'm going to catch, sorry. I'm going to catch fire. Um... <laughs> You are so in trouble. You are so in trouble, Gemini. So in trouble. But joke aside and playfulness aside, they have five of cups twice. If this is not regret, they regret the second and everything that followed after whatever they've, decision they've made and choice or whatever. There is a strong energy on their side of choices. They've made a choice. And now it's like, shit. You know? <laughs> Um, so let's ask for some guidance, Gemini, and then we say goodbye. Till the next time, I promise the last week of, um, of July I'm going to be a little bit quick. I'm going to start them today. Um, Gemini, life purpose, baby. You are actually, you are guided towards your life purpose. Your, your work, your career, what makes you stable and, and good and abundant and whatever, whatever you want to do with your life, right? We have the rainbow reviver. We need the spark. This is the universe saying, come on, we need a rainbow. And we need a revival of some sort. It's like we are. And honestly, you are at that place. It's a once. Give me passion again. I want to burn again, right? I've been too objective, too cold, too whatever I was learning. I was not paying attention, whatever your situation. And it's like, hell yeah, we need rainbows in our life and life purpose combine the two we do have the divine masculine yeah yeah it's interesting i'm i'm sure this is the universe kind of telling you they were your divine masculine we got the two of cups in the past we have the king of wands queen of wands again the energies of soulmates and and uh, vibing energies of the same frequency so we do have this but then you know we need passion we need um a renewal of some sort and a life purpose and I'm I mean for some of you maybe the question is are they the one you know we have soulmates speaking of soulmates right we are saying it feels like divine divine masculine soulmates absolutely they are the one Gemini whichever way we look it's like yeah they are the ones so you better bring some passion to the table and some dedication life purpose and we have the silver waterfall this is all about protection this is all about secret gardens in your own world so yes yeah, soulmates yes divine masculine yes some revival for some of you they are coming back and we have receive with love and appreciation gracious acceptance is a way to show love they want to love you gemini they want to love you they have true love for you that's the energy here they have true love they they come to this um energy to this connection with divine masculine and soulmates and probably i'm picking up of course can be same sex um relationship but i'm i'm picking up the energy of your divine masculine that you know that you connect with is your soulmate and you better receive their love you know and it, they had genuine love for you and true love and life purpose right it was for life so their commitment might be for life um now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow <coughs> so in line with the whole reading fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love so we let go of fear and we live in the we need to bring back the energy of love in your life living life with love i love this fear and doubt are you kidding me doubt i release the need to know all the answers gemini i release the need to know all the answers um i know right living with love and living in confidence failure what's going on fear doubt and failure are you kidding me gemini what's going on baby 
So I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, right? So this is the mind frame that we need to bring back into the game. Actually, it was an opportunity to learn. It was love here. You are reassured. They feel sorry for what happened. That is a strong bond here. And now we have to live with love. Um, with confidence and with the idea that it was a learning experience. Speaking of spontaneity, I know it feels like, like playfulness and e kind of an easy living, but it is spontaneity. So you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations, right? You move beyond the constraints of the mind and we know Gemini is all about the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. And um, Gemini, bottom of the deck, we have kindness. So you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share the, that energy with others. So we live life with, what have we said? Love, confidence, from a learning perspective and with kindness and spontaneity. These are the energies that you are guided to put them back into the flow. But who am I to tell you all this, right? Who am I? Um, Gemini, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. Away from COVID, please. And come to see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.